Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built... Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the Beta Connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a Beta Connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. <laughs> Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of Collective, how can Collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that.
Tin God! Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides, so the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They really set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. try to help him there's nothing we can do for him he sat down by your bed like he was hypnotized and then he just stayed that way we're the ones who need help now my god but you're right those shots were shit they were supposed to help but now i've got five people from the same collective farm on my hands trust me something's something is wrong with me Call the nurse! Uh, Autonomous starts approximately seven minutes. My side is on fire! Hurry! Hurry! Call the nurse already! Autonomous starts approximately seven to ten minutes after death, followed by defecation in three to five minutes. Rigor mortis sets in five to six hours. Then, let me see, complete decomposition in about five years. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. 
Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. Observation in detail is the key to success. I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? I understand the grave importance of your mission. Don't let me distract you. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Swap. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit. Pressure on it. Now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a... Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what? Authorization. Major Nietzsche. Saving data.
Incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Bikov, junior lab assistant at the Pavlov Complex. I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. So, calls. A month? But I don't have a month. You'll hear about me, Professor. What will it be, man? Saving data.
I'm here, oh, honey. I'll be with you, whatever it takes. Nothing 
but death. The launch can't happen. It can't. I'd rather be nowhere. I'm never getting out of here. I don't want to become nothing. The polymers aren't what you think. They're not for what you think is right. The collective doesn't exist. The thing that exists isn't collective. What the? No, get out of here! Please, you stupid doll! I don't want you to put that poison in me! Please select the desired procedure. Saving data.
me, Comrade Major. Based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from the war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective, and whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So, what will it be, Major? Saving data.
damn fuck! What are you gawking at? Truly a magical land filled with strange visions and fanciful Listen. characters. Fine. We'll deal with it. A land of incredible emotion and total freedom. It is a land where you know everything and can't make heads or tails of any of it. There's no worry, no anxiety. This is our gift to you, soldier. And needless to say, it will extend your life. A life of combat so, and violence. So, what will it be, Major? Saving data.
And now you're gone, Professor. What have you done? I was supposed to learn from you, but all I ever got from you was scorn. My self-worth all depended on you, and now... Oh well. I've still got bullets. I can still fight my way through science. And I stole the box from your office with your favorite music inside. Just so I don't forget, I hid the music box in a safe. The one with the positive password, not the negative one. What will I ever accomplish if I can't even keep a couple of safes straight? The dog! The dog has the positive one. at. Freaking critters. What's this place, Charles? A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where'd these come from? 
There are dozens of them, and most of them are young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smoothly in science. Arms volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? But even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. And sometimes, these experiments can have tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the Brown Plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now. Please select the desired procedure.